Hello and welcome to the Voice Spotlight. You ever walked into a place, event, uh, venue that has that wow factor? You walk in and it's like wow. Some places you would expect that the lobbies of hotels and companies, um, events uh, such as baby showers and 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 such. Um, but I want to tell you about a place that. Um, I ran across, um, well, I went to, and I have no preconceived notions, um, and the wow factor was really unexpected. It wasn't immediate. It was a gradual wow factor. And the one thing about this place is that its sophistication is in its simplicity. Allow me to introduce to you the Green Valley Ranch. Not all event venues are the same, nor do they render the same look and feel. The Green Valley Ranch is a stunning all-natural outdoor venue and private retreat located in Snellville, Georgia. As an excellent venue for hosting family reunions, graduations, baby showers, gender reveals, wine pairing, client appreciations, team building, company retreat, or micro weddings, TGVR offers an experience as close to natural as the skin we wear. Replete with an abundance of amenities, TGVR has over 3.5 acres of outdoor space, natural greenery, pergola with kitchen, a fire pit, jacuzzi, multiple televisions, Bluetooth speaker systems, sauna, play area for the kids, and can accommodate up to 65 guests. Want to expand your event? No worries. TGVR offers the ranch as an add-on option. The interior design is renovated throughout, has a fully stocked kitchen, game room, business center, and plenty more space for enjoyment. Let TGVR be your first choice outdoor venue for hosting your next event. Call us or visit our website for bookings, 888-808-2404, thegreenvalleyranch.com. Okay, so a quick history. Um, this year uh, was um, my reunion on my mother's side, the Watson family reunion. This was our 29th reunion. Um, and the only thing that has held us up since we started the reunion has been COVID. Well, anyway, um, this year we were in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Uh, and uh, my relative or well, relatives there um, had laid out uh, the events um, uh, that led us to go into the ranch. Um, if you know Stone Mountain, well, Stone Mountain, Decatur, Atlanta, it is a is a area where it's almost traffic any place you go. Um, and when my um, family told me about we were going to the ranch, as they referred to it before we got there, uh, I didn't know what to expect. As a matter of fact, when we arrived, it sits in a very quiet cul-de-sac. And if you went to the cul-de-sac, you wouldn't even know it's there. Um, but um, the just the place coming off of the traffic and and all of the hustle bustle of moving from one place to another place in that area. Once you walk into the Green Valley Ranch, it kind of all melts away. You start looking around, you see different things. And I was, um, like I say, I wasn't, that wow factor wasn't immediate. As, it, as I walked further into it, I found myself, um, um, kind of relaxing because it's that type of atmosphere. Um, if I could beg your indulgence for a moment, I do want to show you some um, pictures from our family reunion and then we'll get into it because and pay attention to the gentleman in the pink shirt. Um, he looks family. Uh, he, he blended right in, uh, but he is the public face of the Green Valley Ranch. Um, like I say, my impression was of the place, but definitely uh, of the person itself. Um, so let's take a break here. Um, 
let's show you some of the photos from my family reunion and our interaction and it's it's more not of showing the family but it's our interaction with um within the green valley ranch and then we'll get into our spotlight Good evening and welcome to The Voice Spotlight. This spotlight is going to be a little different. Um, I've been wanting to spotlight a couple businesses, but I have to say that um, for this one to kick it off, I really wanted to, to do this. Um, you've seen in the early parts of the spotlight uh, a commercial for TVGR, the, the Green Valley Ranch. And I actually showed you some um, photos from my family reunion where he just joined right in. So I'd like to introduce to everybody, Mr. Ernest Flagg. How are you doing, Ernest? Hey, I am well, Spencer. I am very well. No good, complaints good. at all. Thank you. So um, I started saying that the wow factor, because where you're located at, and, and I tell you, when we parked, we just had to look for some balloons. But as we walked back, we saw more and more and more and more. So I think my first question would be the concept. Where did the Green Valley Ranch start? What was its beginning? What was its origins? It, it really started with um, back in 2018 when I initially acquired the property. I just started, I, I realized there was so much space, so much potential, and and and, and so much opportunity. And, and and it was almost too good for just one person to one person to enjoy. Or, or and so I just started adding things and doing things and you know, cultivating this space into something that I would want to live in and I would want to have and enjoy and enjoy with my friends. And that's really where it started at right there. Um, I've always been going in and out of the country, going to different places and seeing different things and being able to, you know, look at ideas um, and uh, come up with ideas and see new, new possibilities. Um, I used to, uh, well, not used to, but I, I, I'm a consultant and I've licensed, um, healthcare facilities or specialty group homes. And I've had to take those projects from start to finish. So create an open forest plan and, you know, and help them help people buy the homes and, and design them and build them out. So uh, over the years, that experience has, has, has come with me and it, it, it has been very useful in helping me to get this home of mine ultimately culminated and transformed into the place that I would ultimately want to live at and then from that point, I just said, you know what, this is what I can do. I can actually take this place and, uh, and, and, and create an environment for, 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 for numerous, a plethora of individuals to enjoy. Okay. 
All right. So um, when I talked, when I have talked about the Green Valley Ranch, I've called you our host. What what do you consider your title are? Because you're just so laid back and you kind of, you know, I, I, I told people, you know, you were there, but you fit right into the family and right into the scenery. It wasn't like somebody was looking over us. What What is your title? What do you consider your title to be? So, so in that capacity, I actually um, operated as the host. Um, I, I, I am uh, owner of the property, uh, the, the the private retreat and event venue. But what had occurred was uh, your, your your family asked me to support because they it was so big and it was so much going on. And she, uh, Tash, Tasha, Tashia kept uh, telling me that, you know, she wanted it to, all of this stuff to be here and all this stuff. And I was like, OK, cool. And she told me, well, I said, well, do you have your help and who's going to help you with this and who's going to help you with that? And she said, you know what? I really don't have a lot. I have I have a few people, but I don't think I got enough. And so, and then she asked me, she's like, well, will, will you help? Will you help? I said, I'll host. And uh, I think it's going, how many do you have? She said, oh, I got like two people. I said, how many are you planning? She said, about 70. I said, that's not going to be enough for 70 <laughs> people and to serve and to, I said, okay. So what I did was I brought, I brought myself in and I brought an additional uh, two hosts to support in the event and the preparation of the food serving actually because you guys actually catered your own whole environment you are right you're, right of course so we were just basically serving and making sure people uh, uh enjoyed themselves and uh, knew where to go and and uh was able to felt comfortable and uh you know it felt comfortable where they were yeah and i and i and i People know my background. I, I don't really gravitate to to too many people, but you were just like I say, you fit right in. You know, the conversation was easy with you. Uh, and I saw that in my family when they were talking to you, too. And some of the pictures that um, before we came on, uh, they showed that you're sitting there talking to family members and such. So um Yes. It's it's just it's just amazing that that this little gym is sitting tucked back in a corner. Oh, I appreciate so that. It, it is good. I appreciate hearing that, and I appreciate the opportunity uh, to 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 host your 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 family event. And I met so many wonderful people. Uh, I, I think I met a gentleman. He was 101 years old. Yeah, Q is the oldest. Uh, it's uh, ridicule, but it's hard. Horace McRae. But yeah, he's the he's the oldest one in the family. Yeah, I, I met so many people in your family. I talked to so many. I cannot even recall all of the people that I, I spoke with because it was so many. Uh, it just was just so many people in so many different parts of the the, the courtyard, enjoying themselves and engaged in their own conversations and. And I, I saw you in multiple areas and uh, with with different people. And I think there were only at one point I counted, I tried to count the people. I think only about 12, 15 people were from Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> it was a handful of people. And the, and the, the other 50 were from. Right. We drove down from Maryland. Uh, we had some from Cincinnati, Chicago. Um, do we have anybody from Texas? I don't know. Uh, definitely Florida, Pensacola. Like I said, you know, uh, that's that's my second home. Uh, but our furthest member that I know of is California. In California. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the loves were there. They got love. stuck, right? Did they get stuck because of you know, the? Yeah. Well, actually, one of my cousins um, from Chicago couldn't even get on a plane because that's when they had that Microsoft outage. Um, but even after join, enjoying the festivities of, of, of the ranch and uh, the reunion itself, I had several groups that probably took two to three days to fly out because that residual effects of that, that thing. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that that transition uh, uh, ultimately got, you know, got taken care of and people were able to get home. Um, we we wanted to create an environment, and when I say we, it's 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 a it's a combination of me and and and, 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 and some friends and, and my team, and, and and great inspiration coming from my daughters, my wife. Um, but to create an environment um, that is close to natural as possible, um, 
we wanted it to be a scenario, a situation where different, where you could bring 60 or 80 or 100 people to a setting and, 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 and everybody be off in the, their own space. They don't have a, a space somewhere that they can enjoy, whether it's a jacuzzi, whether it's a, the, the sauna, whether it's the kids over in the playscape area or whether it's, you know, another group in the back playing volleyball or, you know, you got some other people over here barbecuing and enjoying the pergola or playing horseshoes or something. So that's what we wanted to do was create an environment that was very different from the traditional, um, the traditional, I would say, venues and private retreats. Uh, and, 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 and pe people could enjoy it. But it would be, have to be very different. And that's what we strive for is to be very unique and, um, and, 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 and ultimate and clean, unique, clean, and, um, and, and awesome in our design of how we put this thing together with the brick, the metal roofs, the sauna, the jacuzzi, you know, the uh, granite countertops, integrating the, um, the smokers, the grill, the flat grill, bocce grill, and different things as well that we have throughout, or different amenities that we have throughout uh, the courtyard here at the Green Valley Ranch. And so, and that brings me to a point, and you've, we've, you, you, you brought it back to the point uh, that I wanted to get. So the car, the courtyard itself appears to be your, I guess that's your main attraction. That's where a lot of your people gather. Is that correct? So you're absolutely correct. The courtyard is the primary piece. This is almost like the reverse Airbnb. So you could have the courtyard in a sense that you could take it for four, a minimum of four, six, eight, 10, 12 hours uh, in, in a day's time and, and acquire the, uh, the ranch or the home as an add-on should you desire to expand your event. Um, we we typically do not have or rent our home at all in the capacity of the traditional Vervo or Airbnb model. So we went to courtyard specifically for day evening events and then the home they come as an add on. Okay. So um, I'm trying to remember uh, the number of guests you said that the home um, had housed, but I know that you said it, it was going to go up. So, um, how many does the house hold if they were to actually stay there overnight or for a weekend? So we 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 have for special requests and special occasions, um, we have the opportunity to take the entire piece for say for some micro wedding, and you might want to do a three day weekend. We can make those uh, accommodations. We can make those accommodations for you. Uh, right now, the Green Valley Ranch can accommodate 14 on the first level. Uh, that includes, uh, I want to say that you have a game room up there. We got a movie room, living room, dining room. You got uh, uh, in a business center as well. Now, the lower level, once it's complete in the next uh, 30, 45 days, we'll be able to accommodate an additional seven and that would include also a meeting area, a custom meeting area for up to 20 individuals and two additional bedrooms down there and also a workout room and a sitting area as well uh, in the lower level. Okay, so you acquired the home in 2018 and I, I'm looking at it and I, am, I want people to follow you on Facebook. Even though we are here in Maryland, I have... Well, you already know I have family there, but I have extended family there and family and friends. And um, so you acquired the home in 18. When did you first start operating as the Green Valley Ranch? We started the Green Valley Ranch. I started the Green Valley Ranch probably about, I want to say a solid, officially, maybe about a year ago, officially renting the Green Valley Ranch and uh, I'm sorry, the courtyard exclusively with soft events. No major marketing or anything, but just soft events, word of mouth, friends and family uh, doing doing little events. And ultimately, we got to this point here. And I, I'm, I'm really, really glad to say and happy to say and must say you were, Spencer, your family was our, our largest event here. You had over... 60 people here, close to 60. No, it was over 60, 62 or three people here for right. those counting those that came and left. 
Um, so that was the largest event right there that we we did have, and and and, and yeah. So yeah, and I'm I'm I'm, li- I'm just I'm excited about that. I, I can see that, man. I see it. I see it. I still feel it. I still live it. Uh, I still live it. Now, one thing I wanted people to see because I got, I did a slideshow prior to us talking is that the amount of room that was inside because we had people sitting at the tables we were sitting in the living room and we had a a basically feed yourself line going around but it wasn't a lot of people bumping into each other it wasn't a lot of fumbling it wasn't a lot of um it was enough space for everybody and i was wondering had you or or how um you handled the amount of people that it were because sitting on the front porch, it felt really comfortable and at home. So you, you've succeeded in that. I, I felt I, I, I've done this before. Number one, I'd say I've done it before and it's just skills that I have acquired over the years and all of that, you know, in all honesty, just come through um, what God has put in me. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel very comfortable in the space hosting people. I love hosting events. I love hosting people. I love allowing people to feel comfortable, helping them to feel comfortable. And and, and keep in mind, we had so many social health settings, very social settings. I mean, you had people in about eight or 10 or 12 different spaces and and groups of three to five. So uh, everybody decided not to eat at the same time, which was good. So there were still people on the front porch. There were people in the jacuzzi, you know, sitting over at the jacuzzi. There were people over at the, uh, in the playscape area around sitting around the uh, bar here, the uh, right. area. So it, it, it kind of went smoothly. Cause we, I mean, you could easily accommodate a hundred individuals here and, and people still not bumping each other. It's enough exactly. space to exactly. walk around and just, yeah, that spacing piece is a blessing. That yeah, we, it's we laid out very have. well. It's laid out very thank well. You. It, very, it, it, thank you very like much. Said, Ken, thank you for even <laughs> selecting us and allowing us the opportunity to host your family because it was such a beautiful opportunity and time and space to meet so many people from all over the world. I mean, right. all over the world. Really, all of the U.S. So, um, you've put a lot into it, and <clears throat> it's not gaudy. Like I say, it's it's it feel like you're at home, and you've put a lot into it. And 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 we just saw. I just saw that you your wife uh, had you get a outdoor pizza cooker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, outdoor brick oven pizza. Um, a brick oven pizza and this has always been in the making to get the brick oven pizza but it was it was really accelerated because we spent some time down in uh in uh Putacana in the Dominican Republic and we actually learned how to make pizza wow. off of the brick oven pizza okay uh system and uh and she just was just you know pushing me to go get it 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 get it get it get it get it um and then we have another element coming. So, yeah, the pizza oven is here. We haven't even used it yet. Just set it up. In fact, I think I'm going to go to uh, uh, Sam's Club today and probably <laughs> get some uh, 12, 15 different condiments, some some, some dough, and, and see what we can do, man, and burn up some stuff. <laughs> so that brings us around to um, you're still doing stuff there. What's next for the Green Valley Ranch? Will we ever see a Green Valley Ranch too? Or is that something I shouldn't be asking at the point? No, 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 no. We, we are. We, we're so what's next is refining things. We're still, I mean, this the maintenance here is, is, is huge on a, on a, on a uh, weekly basis. Um, keeping the spider webs down, keeping the mosquitoes down, keeping everything in, 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 from, from getting to ill repair, just keeping everything solid and pristine, the jacuzzi clean, the sauna clean. Uh, we're going to do some more add-ons. We bring in an ice bath here, ice plunge here. So wow. that's another uh, piece. You'll never see me doing that, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you won't see me in it, but <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it, it just, so people have actually asked about that particular piece. We're going to um, bring a custom bar here. going to be an outside custom bar. The There's going to be a 
concession area outside a food area. So like in the kitchen where we all went around and we got our food, we're going to have a setup outside. It's going to be really, really professional, really nice quality where you can, all of the shaping dishes can be out there and people could be served from outside. That's okay. if you want to. Outside of that, if you take the home as an add-on, the ranch as an add-on, you can set it up the way we set it up in the kitchen because the space was there. That's a whole country kitchen, man. You saw them cabinets in there? Yeah. <laughs> Who had all them cabinets in the kitchen? I had never seen that before in my life. Right, it plays right into the, your needs and, and things. Yeah. It worked. It worked. It worked. It, the space, um, you know, and, and, and I even in, 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 um, encourage you at some point to go and look, and, and I'll send you the link so you don't have to search. But the pictures of the before pictures, I got a set of them. I'm gonna shoot them to you. Okay, so you can good, see good, before. good, good. So you can be, you can be like, wait a minute, hold on, really? You know. Um, so we're gonna add on some. To stick with your question, we're gonna add on some different elements throughout. We're gonna actually make the back of this super duper um, appropriate for weddings, micro weddings, and that's what we're gonna do for the rear part of this. And that's part of why I told you we're going to do that little, we're going to have a, a uh, like a concession area in there uh, with, a, uh, you know, with the overhang and everything, almost like this pergola. It'll be long, though, elongated. Um, and you can have your food there. The pizza ovens, there'll be two of them, and they'll be over there, and there'll be a bar there so you can go get the smoothie. Kids can go through my smoothie or you know, a dog can go get them a, a, a cranberry and whatever, you know. Right. And uh, and there may be, we may even add on a little additional space where uh, if there's a band, we could have a band could set up in this specific area and, uh, you know, and not be, you know, and just everything, it'll have its own place. And then um, the last thing we have in terms of what's going on is, we're looking to design some type of wedding arch, 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 so that and, and stage, so that we'll have that here to accommodate micro weddings in the future. One stop shop. One stop shop. There you, know? you go. There One you stop go. shop. It's it's in it's in it's in the making. It's in my heart. I love what I do. I love this whole concept. Um, I really look forward to hosting your family next year because it's going to be even greater next year. <laughs> And uh, oh, it's gonna be even greater next year. Um, yeah, and 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 will it be a Green Valley Ranch too? Um, absolutely, absolutely. There'll be uh, there. I, I can see it. I can see it because uh, this is the this is you know it's in high demand. So and uh, and I'm comfortable where I am, and I feel like I'm moving in the spirit of God in terms of what He wanted me to do. Right. <laughs> Well, it is a definitely uh, alternative to some of the venues that's out there, you know, a very open air and comfortable and, and a family feel where you can, it's like you're sitting on the backyard and on the porch, you know, um, and like I said, I have your website just scrolling pictures um, and the, the fire pit. So, I mean, anybody that visits there, I, I definitely think that it's going to be a, a place that they will enjoy and that they will see why I decided to spotlight you uh, on our, our. Thank you. Thank you. And speaking of the website, it's it's very very good. I I, I as I oh it guy, I, I like things like that, you know. Yeah. And it covers everything from the, the the distances to the airport and and getting taxis and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to put that link in there for people to see because I'm knowing that I'm not the only one that has family down there. And this gives them options to do things. Um, I have, like I say, I have extended uh, family down there. I have a sister that's that's into things, you know, health related and stuff like that. And they might just want to come here to unwind and have a seminar, or, you know, or do something there. So that's my goal in sending people to you. Um, Thank you very much. I may have to swing that way when I drive down to Pensacola just to get off the road and speak we to you for a while. Always got space for you. <laughs> we always have space for you. And incidentally, last week, just last week, we did a wine pairing here. There was a event here for two um, um, major real estate agencies out here. Um, 
and it was about 35 people. And we we actually we did the food for them. So we did the catfish nuggets. We did our wow. smoked ribs, and um, you know they were they dry smoked dry ribs. Oh my goodness! We did our chicken. We had wings. We had yams. We had kale and smoked turkey. Spaghetti was here, and a couple other things. They paired that wine with every one of those dishes. The sweet, they had a sweet wine, a wine for the sweets, a wine for the acidic food. I never saw it in my life. The lady brought in uh, a wine pair, professional wine pair, and it just went, it was just marvelous. It went well. It was good. Beautiful. First time well, ever having something of that nature here. Right. Since I'm following you, I, I, I do see, have seen the events that, um, that have followed our family reunion. Uh, the outdoor bathroom is done. Done. <laughs> 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 done done fully Good. functional working Good. well man i mean I, I mean it's it's done man I, I oh absolutely oh i didn't even post it i just thought about it i i posted no pictures of that outdoor uh, restroom at all no you 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 posted some leading up to it but i didn't oh. see any finished ones and that's, <laughs> that's what some, i was saying i said he, he all the way up to it and didn't say whether it was finished or not because i think the last one that i seen you said that you were I think within hours of finishing it, you know, <laughs> so I was too tired to, I remember getting up at 3 a.m. in the morning one day working out, going out <laughs> there and uh, coming over here and working, man. It, oh my. So I'll post, I'll get some currents up there for you. I'll get some current pictures okay, up there good. to finish off that whole piece. Uh, for those of you who were really sticking with me and, 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 and pushing me and uh, watching me uh, endure that process and go through that process. Absolutely. Definitely. I want this to be, uh, of course, like I said, I want this to be seen by our subscribers, but I, I want to put some links in there that if anybody just, you know, uh, looking for the Green Valley Ranch, it'll put them over to to this interview and they'll they'll see who you are, you know, and that hopefully they'll get some. Now, like I said, I've been, I'm following you on Facebook. What are the social medias that are you on? Because that's the only one I'm on. I know there's the Instagram and stuff, but what other social medias are you on? So we're on uh, Instagram and we are on so we're on Instagram. We're on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We are also on YouTube and there's one other one. I don't know why I'm feel liking uh, that Instagram. X one Twitter. I think it is. is no, we're it? not on X at all. No. Okay. All right. Not, yeah, because I I, I I I no I heard some things about that and I, even the church is off of it now. So. Um, like I said, I don't bother, bother with any, anything out of Facebook, and I only I'm only on Facebook for family and old business, you know, old family. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Understandable. So, uh, that brings us to the end of this interview that I anticipated for so long, and everything, everything works to its good. Everything falls Thank in you. place. Uh, e e even the little technical problems we had before coming on, but it all worked. Not even well. worth talking We're about. So. Nothing to even, even talk about. <laughs> no. I, I, I hope you scrub back and edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will. We will. <laughs> so um, do you have anything else to say to new viewers, viewers that might be in the uh, Snellville, Georgia? Snellville, Georgia, it's, it's a, I guess you would say it's a suburb or, or outside community of Atlanta. And the weird thing was, and I, I led in with this before coming on with you, is that it's traffic everywhere you go down there. But once you get here, it, it's like you just unwind and everything is good. But um, for new people, which they are new because they're just meeting you for the first time, as a closeout, what would you want to say about yourself or the Green Valley Ranch? I want to say that the Green Valley Ranch is an all-natural uh, outdoor event and uh, uh, event venue and as well private retreat. We are nothing like others. I mean, all events are not the same. Event settings are not the same. We're nothing like the others. I'd like you to just pretty much give us an opportunity to host your next corporate or family event. You can visit our website um, or you can give us a call. Um, but visit our website, scroll up and down, look at our pictures, look at the uh, setting. And I think that alone, once you scroll down, look at those pictures, look at the setting, read some of our content and look at our history and what we have to offer. I think it'll be very easy for that next person, for you to consider us for your next 
do that. Well, I I am a believer. <laughs> I I have seen and enjoyed the facilities and and seen and enjoyed speaking with uh, you. So uh, we, I appreciate that very much. I appreciate that very much. Right. Uh, that's, so that's, this that's, that's won't be the real, last that's time. Real love, and I felt that <laughs> since I first met you. I want to make that very clear before we get off this phone. I want to. I felt that when I first met you. I felt that when I met your family. I felt that, and then I felt the energy, and we just connected. And I, I'll always be a, a, a available to you. Just ping me, ring me, and I'm right here. I appreciate the love you showed on the spotlight. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely hoping that on one of our trips, re, uh, going to Pensacola, coming back, that we can swing off the road and just sit and chat with you for an hour. Or so we, we, we would really enjoy that. We do, really do. Absolutely, you gonna give, you gonna mess around, and give me a, re, a reason to smoke some ribs and some wings, <laughs> smoke some wings and ribs, man. Oh, then I will be swinging that way. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, guarantee, guarantee, minimum three slabs. <laughs> well, I'm good with that. Minimum three slabs. You see, I have no problem sitting down and eating. <laughs> no, no, we did not. <laughs> no, we did not. So for now, we're going to say goodbye to Mr. Ernest Flagg and the Green Valley Ranch. I appreciate you taking your time. I will be following you and your exploits on Facebook. And we will be giving links to anybody that is viewing that wants to swing by the ranch, use it for their, um, their events. Um, one quick question. And I think, you know, I, I'm a older guy, but I think I'm I'm plugged into stuff. What is a micro wedding? It, it's it's typically not the non-traditional wedding. Some of the, the larger ones, and it's more of a scaled down wedding. Uh, and, and almost every element that involves the wedding, it's almost reduced to scale down from the number of individuals and the guests to the food concepts and to the budget itself. And so I'm in the capacity and ability because of the resources that we have, I can almost, I can almost accommodate any of the small weddings that, that exist without blowing people budget up. So they may go to some of these larger places and they can't get the food or they can't, the food is priced out too much. The, this is priced out too much. So we can scale that whole piece down and get your 65 people in here, get your 80 people in here. And, and as well, not uh not take an arm and a leg at the same time okay all right yeah, so, I'm, I'm blessed i am blessed so <laughs> hey, with the, the numbers and the money is not as much as important to me um as it might be for some of the larger scale places but yeah sounds like your ministry <laughs> thank you i appreciate it. I, I, i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it <laughs> thank you well, we'll say goodbye to the spotlight for now. Hang on. I want to speak to you a little bit uh, after we get off. Um, but we'll say goodbye to everybody. And thanks again, Ernest. All right. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. The Green Valley Ranch is located in Snellsville, Georgia, about 50 minutes from the hustle and bustle that is Atlanta. The Green Valley Ranch has something for everyone, despite their age. It is a private and peaceful retreat for the family as well as the business. Family cookouts, reunions, couple getaways, micro weddings, team building, or company incentives. The Green Valley Ranch can handle it all. If you're in the greater Atlanta area and would like to explore this truly unique venture, call Mr. Ernest Flagg or one of his team for availability or booking.